At the end of the first century and into the beginning of the second, there is a very famous figure of Christian history, Ignatius of Antioch. A bishop and a martyr, his writings were so beloved by the church that they were held at almost the same esteem as those of the Apostle Paul himself. And 2,000 years on, they have been preserved by the church. Ignatius of Antioch has been mentioned on this channel before. He probably will be again. He was one of the absolute giants of early Christian history. Tradition holds that he was the small boy that sat on Jesus' knee when Jesus said you must be like the little children in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. And Ignatius is the right age to be that little boy. He was also known as Theophorus or God-bearer, a title he was given because he held God so closely in his heart and because God incarnate had held him in his arms. He studied under the apostle John himself. He was a close personal friend with Onesimus, mentioned in the book of Philemon. So while he's not in scripture, he's very closely associated with people that are right in there. Ignatius of Antioch is one of the early church fathers, in a subcategory called the Apostolic Fathers. These are the ones that come just after the Apostles, a very early generation of Christians. And it is because he wasn't one of that first generation that his texts are not in the New Testament, but read alongside them as they have been for 20 centuries. There are seven epistles or letters of Saint Ignatius. All of them were probably written in somewhat of a hurry while Ignatius was being transported to his own execution. He had been sentenced to death for being a Christian and oddly enough couldn't have been happier about it. He was excited to give everything to Christ who had given everything to him. Ignatius was the Bishop of Antioch. The Antiochian church is still around. Since the 14th century after the destruction of the city of Antioch, it has moved to Damascus where it exists to this day. We still know the successor of Ignatius centuries and centuries on. The letters of Ignatius have been read and loved by the church ever since they were written. They're full of wisdom. However, there are several things in there that some people might find surprising. Amongst them is the definitive proof that right then in Ignatius's time, there was a very clear hierarchical structure of the church. It was very organized. Ignatius talks about bishops and priesthood. At the time of Ignatius, the church has already reached a level of connectedness with communities, with leadership. And he exhorts his readers to obey and follow and respect the leaders given to them by God in the church. And what this is saying is that the church was never a chaotic, disorderly body of just people being excited. It was ordered, it was carefully structured, and it was managed by the apostles and their successors right from the very beginning. Ignatius' letters talk about, amongst other things, the necessity of being Christian. Not just being called Christian, not just calling yourself a Christian, but actually living the Christian faith. He talks about the importance of respecting and honoring and listening to the bishops and priests placed in authority over the Christians by God. He talks about meeting every single Sunday for worship. He talks about the structure of church authority, and he talks about the value and importance of Holy Communion. His writings have been loved and preserved for almost 2000 years. Ignatius eventually made it to Rome, where he was executed by lions in the arena. It was a death that he knew was coming and rejoiced in being able to have. He even writes in his epistle to the Romans for them not to go about rescuing him. Perhaps some of them were working out some elaborate plan and he says, no, 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 I'm glad to do this. And he died a martyr at the beginning of the second century in Rome. Ignatius was not an idiot. He was under no illusion of what he was about to go through and the suffering and the death that was coming. But he was also 100% certain of who awaited for him at the other side of death. And that is Ignatius of Antioch, a saint that embodied over his entire life the words that he heard when he was just a small boy and met Jesus Christ himself. The words that if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, be like a child. And Ignatius kept that child within and that love of Christ his entire life. There are a lot of quotes from Ignatius that are worth sharing, but let's end on the one that says, everyone, love one another with an undivided heart. Thank you for watching and for meeting Ignatius with us today. Uh, if you're interested in the tea that is being drunk, it is dandelion tea. You can actually make tea out of dandelions. Um, the tea is very healthy for you. It's good for your liver and it tastes terrible.